Hello everyone. This video is brought to you by the Tulum University Open Courseware project for the course Physics 101. The lecture notes are prepared by Associate Professor Dr. Hüseyin Oymak and the video lectures are prepared by Ümit Alkuş. In this video, we will solve one problem in Chapter 10. The plate in the figure can rotate freely about point O. Three forces act on the plate as shown. Here, magnitudes of the vectors R1, R2 and R3, F1, F2 and F3 are given. And also, theta1 and theta2 are given. With these known values, calculate the net torque about point O. In order to solve the problem, it is important to give the definition of torque as depicted in this figure. Therefore, according to this configuration, the torque due to F1 acting on pivot 1 is R1 times F1 times sine theta 1. By the same way, the torque due to force F2 Acting upon P2 is found by this formula R2 times F2 times sine theta 2. And also the torque due to F3 equals R3 times F3 times sine theta 3. However, theta 3 is 0 according to this configuration. This is because the extension of F3 goes through the pivot point 3, so that it does not contribute to the net torque. As a result, by the convenient plus and minus directions, tau1 contributes to the plus rotation and tau2 contributes to the minus rotation. As a result, the net torque about point O is obtained as plus R1 times F1 times sine theta 1 minus R2 times F2 times sine theta 2. If we put the numerical figures into this equation as we finally get approximately minus 4 point 06 newton times meters in which the negative sign shows that the net torque is in the clockwise direction okay this is the end of the solution of this problem thank you for your attention and see you in the next video